Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Down to Earth Astronomy. Today we're going to have a quick look at Elite Dangerous. Um, this is a new game for me, um, I just bought it. Um, and we're going to go through some of the training missions. Um, and I'm going to give you my uh, initial impressions of the game. So let's um, go ahead and uh, start up the first training mission, Targeting Practice. Okay, here we are. And again, I um, haven't been playing this game for long, so I am quite new at this. But as far as I recall, you open your weapons, deploy your army weapons with U, and you target with T, like so. And then we can shoot. Easy as that. Pick our next target. There we go. Again, take a target. You can control the up and down movements uh, with the mouse as well as a roll. Um, on the A and D key, you can yaw the, the, the spacecraft. On Q and E, you can translate sideways, sideways, and R and F, you move up and downwards. You simply uh, target by pressing the T key, and I think you can switch between targets. Yeah, exactly. And as you can see, I have two small um, next. I have a yellow square, then I have two small uh, yellow circles, and when I get close to a target, they will automatically jump to the target. And once they do that. Ah, and of course I need to reload. That should be it. Okay, next training mission we're going to do the basic combat one. Um, I realize that the order of these missions uh, don't really make sense. There are a lot of combat missions and then you only get to the docking. Um, what I suggest you actually should do is start with the launch because they go through all the, the, um, the controls um, and you get the basic knowledge of how you're going to try to control your ship. So I think we should, maybe we should, uh, should do this instead. Okay, here we are in the station. We can see we have a small info box here at the upper right corner. Um, again, love the UI. Um, very, very good looking. Um, again, controls n not that intuitive. Um, but anyway, we can use W and S to move through this menu. We can go to launch and select it by tapping space. Okay, so now it asks us to go through. That's what I talk about. This is where they go through what they call the pre-flight check. You don't have to do this every time in actual play, but this is just as part of the tutorial. So here you can see we can yaw right using the D key. And we can yaw left using the A key. We can thrust right using E. Oh, sorry. Thrust left using Q. Thrust up using R. And thrust down using F. Throttle up, using W, throttle down, using S. Um, landing gear um, can be deployed or um, subtracted by pressing L. Weapon deployed with the U key, you can target with T, primary fire, first mouth button and UI focus left shift. Okay, so now we've gone through the pre-flight pre -flight checks. We're going to move to the docking bay hangars. Or the, well, I think they call it the, the surface, the station surface. Um. Ship release. Engines engaged. Okay. And again, this is 
it's all done manual manually and we'll take a few tries to get used to it, but But once you get used to it, it's um you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. Okay. I also think we should go through the docking uh, tutorial because there are quite a few interesting things to learn from this as well. So let's go ahead and uh, load this up. So here we are outside a station and we can see the docking port in there. Um and we need to get to the station. As you can see, if I begin to towards the station here, again pressing W to, I will begin slowly to move towards the docking hangar. Here, 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 trespass warning. So, oh, let me back out of this. So the station gives me a trespass warning because I am not allowed to dock yet. This actually took me some time to figure out because uh, it doesn't say anywhere to show you how you how you actually ask for permission to dock. So let's just go ahead and stop the spaceship again by right, throttling it down. But what you do is you can focus on the UI. Um, oy, stop. You can focus on the UI with the number keys. So if I press one. Um, I get this panel up over here. Two, I get up to the chat box. Or the, yeah, the chat. I can focus on my compass or radar or whatever it is. Or I can focus on this over here. I don't really know what this is used for yet. I'm sure it will be useful sometime in the future. But for now, we'll press one and we'll go over here. You can use um, the what is it? E and Q keys to move through the tabs and we're gonna go, gonna go to contacts and we can see here we can contact the training station so let's select that by using you know, tapping space um, W and S to select we're going to request docking hit space docking request granted. and we got a docking request cool press 1 to go back to the default view okay so now again use uh, we can begin to dock Use the yellow dot to check your heading, and once you go at a good speed, towards not that far, it's not that far, use your um, translation to hit the docking port. Okay, we got landing pad 21, see it says there over our compass, so we just need to locate Landing pad 21. Where is it? Is it down here? I can't find it. It's right above us. So let's flip the ship around. Okay, and we can now use the compass to see where we are in relation to... To the dark pad. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Way too much. Uh, where did it go? Is it behind us? Ah, there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly approach this area, the docking pad. And once we get close enough... Again using F... Warning, landing gear not deployed. Oh, I forgot the landing gear. So press L to deploy the landing gear. You see the compass, compass changed, so now... We have to deploy. I have to go over this target thing, and then oh, 
Oh, that didn't go well. No. Uh. Again, I'm really new at this. <laughs> so, we should move forward a bit. And to the side. Got it. Engines disengaged. And now we can enter the hangar and the training is complete. So again, practice this because I guess this is something you're going to do quite a lot. And the final mission, uh, not, we're going to do one of the combat missions, but um, we're also going to do the travel mission. I think you should definitely do the docking and the traveling missions before you go into all the, the shooting missions. Um, because these uh, these tutorials really give you a good overview um, of the controls, and you learn to um, to control the ship before you actually go into a combat training. So right now we need to travel to another star system, um, and then find a station and dock at the other station. So we're gonna go ahead and hit launch, just as we did before. Good, here we are. Ship released. Engines engaged. So we're gonna pull up the landing, landing here. Gear retracted. Gonna head upwards so until we are at the exact plane. And then we can just exit. Okay, so now that we're in space, let's go over here, and you can see... Oy. Hold on, I need to get this ship under control again. There we go. Over here, we can uh, select either galaxy or system map. Let's go ahead and select galaxy map. Good, and we are here in at the training system, and we're going to this destination system. Um, select it and plot a route. I don't know if you need to do this when it's only two systems, but anyway. Now we can press the J key to no. Oh yeah. Um, I'll probably show you this as well. In the lower, the right corner. Hold on. You can see I have um, I have mass lock and landing gear. If I press L, for instance, I can deploy my landing gear. Now I can see that my landing gear are deployed. If I get close to a station, turn this ship around towards the station. There we go. And as I get closer, you can see I go into mass lock. Mean I'm gravitationally bound to the station and I cannot use my jump drives. So we're going to go ahead and move away from the station until we're no longer mass locked. Frame shift drive charging. Then we're pressing J to charge our frame shift drive while going at full speed. Once it is charged. We should go into alignment. Uh, align with target destination. There we go, destination. Three, two, one, engage. 
Oh, okay, you need to align first. No, no, that makes sense. So right now we're jumping to another system. And as soon as you get to a system, you need to start doing evasive maneuvers to avoid the star. Um, and as you can see down in the bottom, we are right now traveling at half the speed of light. So let's immediately begin to slow us down. Now, good. We go ahead again over here and we can open the solar system map. Okay, so this is the map. This is a very uh, simple system, I guess. Here we have the destinations, destination station. Um, and you can... I figured this out last time. How the hell do we do this? Can we go, like, target it? No? Huh, how do I do this? Oh no, now I recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. So, as you can see here, if we open the system map, I forgot. These are the, s the objects in the system, but we can also press one again. Here in navigation. Um, here we go. We can see we have the destination station. And if we press space, we can say lock destination. Okay. So now we have the destination locked. Find it. There it is. And we can see that it is quite di a far distance away. So we are going to speed up. We're still in um, light speed drive thing. Can't remember the name. But let's just go ahead. Okay. So as we approach this, in the lower left corner, you can see two bars one saying distance, one saying speed. As I get closer, oh, this is fast. As I get closer, you'll begin to see a bar approaching at least the, the distance. Once both my distance and speed are within the blue area, I can press the J again to exit this uh, hyper speed uh, mode, and I'll be dropped out close to the station, drop out of hyperspace close to the station. But for now, let's just. Oh, this is fast, this is fast. Slow down, slow down. Ah, uh, yeah, I overshot. By quite a bit. Okay, here we go. So now you can see the bar approaching, the, um, the distance bar slowly approaching the blue area. And you can see my speed bar is still way too high. So we're traveling way too fast to drop out of, um, of hyperspace. Way too dangerous, apparently. But it's okay because we still have some distance to travel towards the station. I think this way of traveling is um, it's quite fun. I've been playing EVE for many, many years and the fact that travel is part of traveling is part of the game. It's uh, it's very well done. I mean, in Eve it can get tedious just jumping around from Stargate, automatically warping. The fact that you have to do it manually, um, I would assume that you later in this game you could find equipment that allows you to do this automatically. But for now, I think this is pretty uh, pretty neat. So we're slowly getting within range. See my speed are now well within the, the loud range. See, safe distance ready. So let's hit J. Hyperspace and that's it. We found the station. Cool. Next we need to stop. Next we need to find the docking port because we need to dock. Um, and what I've noticed is the docking port always seems to be aligned with the axis of rotation. So you can see right now that surface um, is 
going through the axis of rotation, and there's no docking port there, meaning that the docking port must be on that side of the station. So let's head up there and have a look. I really hope that I'm correct, because otherwise this is uh, gonna be quite a bad video. <laughs> Slowly making our way towards the station. So, no fire zone entered, so apparently around every station there's a no fire zone, maybe only south of the station, I'm not really sure. Okay, good. Let's just stop our ship right here. And let's face back towards the station. And yay, we found the docking port. Okay, so just as before, we press 1 to go over here. Um, here we go. Yeah, destination, destination station. No, we need to go to... Hold on. Contacts. Destination station. Request docking. Docking request granted. Docking request granted. So where are the station? Okay. Okay, just because this is I found the easiest way when you're docking is to use the translation maneuvers to get yourself aligned with the docking port. So it's a bit high right now. Down. And now I'm pretty well aligned. We can begin to thrust towards the station. And we're going to match the rotation. Like so. And at a nice low speed. You see we still have you apparently you get ten minutes to dock from when you're requesting till you're allowed to dock. Translate a little bit. Turn in. Here we go. And there we see our landing pad, landing pad 12 apparently. Much better this time. And we can... Okay, we could enter the hangar, but the um, tutorial is over. Good, so the last one, let's just do the basic combat one. Just to give you guys an impression of how the combat system works. So in this mission, we have one contact somewhere. somewhere here around here okay and what we're going to do is first we're going to deploy our weapons with you and then press T to target where is he there he is and as you can see when we get close the small dots jump to him and we can engage him Some of the more experienced players are going to be laughing their ass off. Oi, that was close. Ow. 
as you can see, I am backing up um, because I found this to be the most efficient way to actually fight by flying backwards. As we, right now, my weapons are out of power, so I can move some of the power to my weapons, I think. Just a quick overview of the um, of the game, some of the controls. My initial impression is um, the controls take uh, an hour or two to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, um, it's actually pretty easy to uh, to fly the ships. Um, love the graphics, love the IU, uh, the interface, um, and I'm really looking forward to getting in uh, more depth, and I'm sure I'll do more videos on Elite uh, in the future. Um, if you like the video, remember to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, and until next time, um, have fun! <laughs>